about verb, how a verb looks like in Spanish language and how this table most importantly is so 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 important when it comes to learning how a verb functions in Spanish language, how it changes with time and person. So if you have not watched the last video, uh, especially the last two videos, please go and watch them in order so that this video becomes much more easy and much more meaningful for you. So we actually got to know that uh, in AR verbs, the suffix or the termination uh, gets away and it gets replaced by o as a amos ai an o as a amos ais an i asked you to do it in this way so that you your mind gets accustomed to it and you can train your mind and these changes are corresponding to the subject the person you are addressing we did all of that so i would rather jump directly to the er and ir termination okay now when you know how the AR termination works, learning the ER termination becomes much more easy for you because the change uh, or the difference in the AR and ER termination is very, very small. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is wherever we have la A de Espanol, you have to replace it by la E de Espanol. And this is the only difference. So in this case as well, I would like you to speak out loud and memorize it and train your mind. So it would be O in place of as, es, in place of a, e, in place of amos, emos, ais, eis, and en. So finally it is O, S, A, M, O, S, A, S, N. O, S, A, M, O, S, A, S, N. Something like that. Now, obviously, we'll take an example and try to actually apply that. So, here we have a verb, comer. Comer is to eat. Okay? And obviously, we know that this is the root part and this is the suffix part. And we already know that the root part remains intact. It does not change at all. Only the termination changes and it gets replaced by any of these things depending on the corresponding subject we are addressing okay we know all of it and we have done it so many times okay so for a beginner it would be a good idea to write down the root part as it is okay like this now if i want to say i eat it would be yo como yo como okay if it's you eat second person singular in a casual and in a situation where there is not a lot of formality. It would be tu comes. Tu comes. If I want to say he eats or she eats, él or ella or usted. Remember I told you usted is tu plus respect or formality so it's just more formal and respectful version of tu so it would be el or ella or usted any of these three come okay if it's we eat it would be obviously all of it nosotros comemos if it's you plural eat it would be vosotros coméis, coméis, okay? And if it's they eat, that means masculine they or feminine they or if it's a mix, again, ellos, o ustedes. Ustedes means you plural with formality or respect. It would be ellos or ellas o ustedes, any of these three, comen, Okay? Now you must be wondering that how is it possible to memorize slight difference and it's just in place of A and the verbs are almost similar. On this I want to say that once you start practicing the regular verbs and especially once you start speaking them out loud like como comes come, comemos comes come, como comes come, comemos comes come, something like that, then you will yourself realize that 
with the verb comer comes is more natural i mean the presence of e makes much more sense and you will see this with time so don't worry about that it's all natural and with time you'll realize that it will be so smooth the only thing is keep in mind that you need to speak it out loud so that your mind gets accustomed to the pattern of the verb okay now let's head on towards the examples i mean over here i have used the random subjects and a new word along with some vocabulary and let's see if we can make sentence or not so the verb that i'm using over here is again the er termination beber beber means to drink okay and i have also used some random words but i've written the spanish translation so i expect you to speak out before i speak out so that you can actually see how much you can do okay so the first sentence is i drink water where water is agua okay so this is verb bebe root and termination i drink would be yo bebo yo bebo agua yo bebo agua okay now if i want to say we drink wine and wine in spanish is vino okay we that means nosotros okay let's write n for nosotros we drink would be bebemos nosotros bebemos vino okay now let's have a look at the ir terminations once you know how the er termination functions the ir termination is just a cake walk for you because it has so many things which are exactly same how the er termination functions and there are some changes don't get afraid of them like i already told you that these changes just make sense with the ir termination with the sound it actually uh, creates so once you start speaking them out loud once you start practicing simple regular verbs you'll yourself see that it is not that difficult and the changes do make sense okay the most important thing about this is that we also call this table the ir termination table as la bota why because it has shape of a boot la bota the boot like this now why this shape is like that because the shape of boot covers the things which are exactly same how they exist in the er termination i mean if you compare first one is o second is es third is e then en o s a n okay now uh, rest of the boxes are different but again they make sense don't worry about it okay so now let's use the verb bebe to actually apply these okay so if i want to say by the way bebe is to live so if i want to say i live it would be yo yo vivo okay like you already know that the root part doesn't change if i want to say you live to be with okay if i want to say he she or obviously you stay you with a lot of respect or formality it could be el or ella or stay any of these three again the root part and then be with okay if i want to say we live that would be nosotros and for nosotros and then again the root part vivimos nosotros vivimos okay if i want to say you plural live it would be vosotros and the corresponding box here vosotros vivis okay vosotros bebes and the last one if i want to say they live that means ellos or ellas or you all with respect to ustedes that would be any of these three ellos or ellas or ustedes viven viven okay so this is how it works and now let's have another example 
Escribir. Escribir is another verb, the IR termination verb. Very important verb. It means to write. Escribir means to write. Now, if I want to say, I write a letter. When letter is carta in Spanish. Okay? And also it's feminine. Because if you want to say a, una, for details you can see step 9 or part 9 of this series of Spanish step by step. But it's feminine, I mean. So, how would you make it? It would be I, yo. From escribir, it would be, obviously, escribo. Yo escribo. Now, it's a letter and feminine. So, it would be una. And then, this word, carta. Yo escribo. Una carta. Okay? So it's that simple. And don't worry. Keep practicing. Remember always small regular verbs. Don't jump onto the complicated verbs. You just need to go step by step. And from simple verbs to simple sentences. Like I write a letter. He writes in a book. Something that small. Okay? Also I have an interesting activity. I will speak out some sentences. Some very simple sentences. And I want you to comment the Spanish translation in the comment box. I hope uh, it would be useful for you. I mean, I'm always there to correct you. So don't worry about that. I would be using these words only. So don't worry about that. So first of all, my first sentence is, We eat the dinner. We eat the dinner. And I've already told you, dinner in Spanish is la cena. Okay? So if it's the dinner, it has to be la cena. Okay? Next sentence is, they, I mean if it's any they, not specifically masculine and feminine, it has to be ellos. Okay? They drink milk. They drink milk. Milk is leche in Spanish. So let's see how many you get correct. Also, if you like the video, please don't forget to like it because I love to know that you like the video. And if you have any suggestions, please write it in the comment box. I always look forward to more and more suggestions so that I can make improvements. Thank you for watching my video and keep studying Spanish.